Okay guys, how's it going? It's Noah here from the Infected Scooters. Preston's filming in the back. So just hit him. Um, so today we're going to be doing a video on how to raw um, anodized scooter parts. I know that last time we did any raw sort of thing, Preston did on his uh, painted bars. And uh, yeah, so now we're going to show you how to do it on anodized parts. And then, so it's going to be going from this Max Peters deck, the color is really nice. I have liked it for a while, but for what I'm gonna do later on, I wanted a different color. So it's gonna go from this to this. And I did raw this myself, it used to be purple. And I think it did look pretty good. Other than scratches and everything. But yeah. So uh, I'll take apart the scooter. And uh, well, I guess the first step, you're gonna wanna take apart the scooter and then we'll show you the next one after this. Okay, so I just took all the parts off. Now it's just a plain deck, but I do have the grip tape on still because I don't have any other grip tape to use, so I kept it on. Um, now for the next step, what you're going to want to get is, one, the easy off. <laughs> you're going to want the yellow one because it's, uh, it's heavy duty. It says it right there, it might be out of focus in red. Heavy duty, um, it's just a lot better for it and it takes it off quicker because it's heavy duty. So then after that, you're gonna want a garbage bag so that you can put it under the deck like, like this, like this, if you if you tape this off. Um, just so it doesn't ruin the carpet like I'm working on or the floor or anything like that. The next thing and the last thing you're gonna want is a dirty rag that you use for like grease. I call it grease, grease cloth because I use it for like headsets and whatnot. Um, just something that you're not going to trash and the next day you're going to use it for dishes. So we'll show you the next step. Actually before I even start saying that, what you're also going to want to do if you're working outside, it's not a big deal. If you're working inside like we are now, you're going to want to have it just ventilated. So open a window, open a door, just um, make sure the smell isn't still lingering in the room or else it will stack up the place. Okay, so we're at the next step, and this is just starting um, spraying it. Um, so you have to ease it off, shake it if you want to, pop the cap, toss her over. Um, and it's going to just be on one spot at a time. It's easier to do that, or else you could get it on other things, or you don't, like, you're, you forgot that you sprayed one part. So I'll spray the head tube first. Cause it's open, it's easier. And the more you put on, the better it'll turn out. You don't want to put like a liter of it on one spot. And then after that, you're just kind of gonna want to let it sit, cause then it's what the what it's doing is just taking off the anodization. And um, after that, about five minutes, get the cloth again, wipe her off, do the step over each spot, and then if you need to, if you want to, polish it up, get like a sandpaper. No sandpaper, fucks it up, polish. Polish, and really, really fine sandpaper. It helps. And then, uh, and then, yeah, so just keep redoing this step. <clears throat> okay. Now we're just gonna wipe it off. See how it looks. It's been about 20 minutes. So just take it. See if anything came off. Yeah, you can start. You can see it now. It's it's coming off. Kind of start rubbing it more. 
And after these first few um, sprays, kind of the layers, you're gonna wanna rub it off a lot sooner. So after you spray it one time, you're gonna wanna do it again like maybe 10 minutes after, and then that a few times, and then like five minutes after, and that a few times. And then until uh, that one spot is looking good, and then you move on to your next one. So uh, I guess now that you guys know this step, uh, I'll see you when this is all done. Okay, so we just finished rowing it. We're at the last step, and uh, I think the final product looks really good. Here she is. Um, I did leave the bottom of it, same color, kind of looks sick. I like the little details of it and whatnot. Um, also, whoops, also a little bit of the side, just the edge right here. One on the other side too, there. Um, and the weld's a little bit, you know, the kind of hard place to get with the cloth or sandpaper, whatever you're doing. Um, it's just kind of cool, especially with the outline of the grip tape. I think it looks pretty snazzy. So, um, I hope this worked out for you guys. Definitely worked out for me. Um, another tip too is that don't be afraid to get like a sandpaper or a drill with a bit um, that has like that kind of softness to it. It'll help out a lot to get to get like a buffery kind of shininess. It looks really good. And um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, if it worked out for you. Like, subscribe, comment. If it didn't help, I can kind of give you some answers, some questions. I'll see you next time.